Hi everybody, a friend of mine told me that to be loved by others you have to love yourself first. That got me thinking, how can I love myself? What would be your definition of loving yourself? Can you give me an example? How do you love yourself, Mike? <laughs> oh man, well, first of all, I don't believe the premise that in order to be loved by others you have to love yourself first. I do think it's true that in order to allow others to love you, to allow them in, you have to have some affinity for yourself. There are a lot of ambiguity in the question, which is a great question. So let me just answer it from this perspective. I think that love in the context of yourself has to do with how much you respect and accept yourself. Scott Peck says that love is extending yourself for the spiritual or emotional growth of another. I would say that loving yourself is extending yourself, being willing to feel uncomfortable for your own spiritual, mental, or emotional growth. So I think that the way that you uh, have greater affinity for or greater love for yourself is the extent to which you give yourself room to be fully human and fully alive at the same time and the extent to which you extend your uh, level of comfort in order to achieve the things you want to achieve in your life because to not do that I think is the is the cruelest thing you can do to yourself or to another person my definition of loving yourself has everything to do well let me give you an example you asked for an example an example would be this um, I think it would be the best thing I could do to learn how to extend myself more in my life to the people that I care about such that I can provide for them in a way that mo most fit, meets, uh, meets their needs. I could do that at work, I could do that at home, I could do that anywhere. That would be an example. I need to also allow that to come my way as well. All right, take care. We'll see you next time, everybody.